defense as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. Taylor will throw again. And that's incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. On third down, Taylor being chased out left. They had a nice job there defensively. They get him to the ground short of the first, right around the 42. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Taking it about the 16. A very nice punt that time, but they get 11 back on the return. And possession will switch hands first and 10. The Ducks set to go on offense as they come to the line. Flush to his right. Now on the run, he'll throw it back deep over the middle. Oh, wide open, complete. And he will score. Touchdown, Ducks. A great effort there as the first half is winding down. And the Ducks have furthered their advantage. So simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we usually talk about an offense making adjustments, right? This is all about the defense. They've got to figure out some way, somehow, to slow them down. Do they blitz a little bit more? Do they play more zone coverage? Right now, they don't know where to go because they're hitting them in every direction. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. And they'll take over with just 16 ticks remaining before intermission. And they'll run the option to start the drive. And he's not going to go anywhere as they get him down behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. And what a story this would be. Oregon one half away from a first national title. Just one half remains in the college football season as we begin the second half of this national title game. And the half will begin with a touchback. Clemson now with a first and ten. They run the counter. Jewel. And not a lot of daylight. Not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Here's Taylor. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. They'll go in the books as a seven-yard loss on the sack. And it's third down. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Powers. They'll wind up losing a yard on the play. And it'll be fourth down. No surprise they decided to throw on third down. A little bit of a surprise that they completed the pass and lost yardage on the play. On is the punt team now as this one's sent away. They'll take it at the 42. So a good punt there, but a very strong 14-yard return. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. They'll run on first down. Terry. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've run the bell three times with passing touchdowns. But guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. 
Now a play fake here on first down. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game. But it falls down to the ground incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Back to throw. Madden escaping the pressure right. Finding room to the 20. And he's going to get it down to the 14-yard line. Now that was a whole lot of open space out in front of it, wasn't it? I'm telling you, Brandon, when things are going right, they are going right. And everything has been going their way for the most part. I saw that lane start to develop. Boom. He took advantage of it. And they go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. Uh, he lost six there on the first down play. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. Back now here on EA Sports. As we are set to bring you the home stretch here, the fourth quarter. To throw on second down. Madden. Wide open receiver complete. And he will score. Touchdown, Ducks. A 20-yard touchdown. And the Ducks have furthered their advantage. Extra point splits the uprights, and that makes the score 28 to nothing. Now after the touchdown, here's Oregon set to kick it off. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. You got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. No gain on the play, it'll be second down. This run defense has been pretty stout all game long. Now you're here in the fourth quarter. Should rely more on the passing attack? I don't think you have any choice, and I don't think you have to dress it up at all either. Throughout the first three quarters, you're still trying to convince the defense that you may run the football. That's out the window right now. Protect, let your quarterback operate, and try to find some targets in the open field downfield. The offense on third down tonight. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and four. Now Taylor. Can't get away, and he's taken down. And now that brings up fourth down there, a loss of six yards on the sack. Now on fourth down, we've got a whistle here and a timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Here we go. It's Taylor on fourth down. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the ball will go over on downs on the short side of the field. On first down, it's Terry. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. I know that every now and then we get in those meetings with coaches, and you almost want to roll your eyes when they talk about staying on schedule when they're moving the football. But would you say a seven-yard run is ahead of schedule? Fourth quarter with the lead, you love that, don't you? No doubt about it, because staying on schedule is trying to get four downs on first down. They did that, plus three. The Ducks come up now, first and ten. That one looks like he'll throw here. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Seven yards, the pick up there. From the six now on second and three. 